Chicago, Georgia, Philadelphia, Cleveland, Ohio. All right, y'all. Let's pray us in. Let's pray us in. Let's pray us in. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask that everybody watching this live video under the sound of my voice, I ask that you cover all of them watching this live video under the sound of my voice right now, God. I ask you to touch them wherever they need to be touched, God. I ask that you uplift them, that you give them wisdom, knowledge, understanding, power, provision, love, favor, protecting, anointing. You touch them where they need to be touched, whether it be in their health, whether it be in their prosperity, Lord. Touch them wherever they need to be touched, Lord. Uplift them, comfort them, encourage them, enlighten them, and let them know that you are God, and let them know that you are real, let them know that you are moving on their situation, that you are moving on their behalf, and that hard times will not last. You give them the proper guidance. You give them the proper patience to make a way, although they may not see a way, God. You make a way for them. You become a light onto their feet and a lamp onto their path, Lord. You guide their steps. You, you make sure that you are there with them at all times. You allow them to feel your presence right now, Lord. You allow them to know that you are moving on their situation, that you are moving on their behalf, and that you see their tears, and that you hear their prayers, and that you will make a move, God, and that you will make a change, God, and that there will be a shift, God, and that there will be a transformation, God. Allow them to know that you are God. Allow them to keep seeking you first and knowing that all things shall be added onto them. Allow them to keep continuing to know that you said that no weapon that is formed against them shall prosper, God. Allow them to know that you said that you have plans to prosper for them and not harm them, plans to give them hope and a future, God. Keep reminding them that you said that. Remind them that you said your faithful love endures forever, God. You protect my people. You keep them standing their ground when the attacks of the enemy comes against them. You break any covenant that they may have made knowingly and unknowingly with the enemy right now, Lord. You break those covenants. I rebuke any negativity or evil out of their mind, their body, and their spirit. Any negativity or evil energy off of them right now, Lord. Anything that is not of you, Lord, remove it from them right now. Anybody that's not supposed to be surrounded by them right now, God, remove them from them right now, God. Keep them grounded and keep them knowing that it's going to be okay and it's going to be all right no matter what the storm may look like. Allow them to not look at the storm, but instead to look to you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, they will prevail. They will not die before they see the attacks of you over, before they see the promises of you over their life, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. I cover y'all all in the blood of Jesus under the sound of my voice right now. Yeah, turn that heat off, y'all. If you're new here, follow me. All right, I'm going to introduce myself and then we're going to get into preaching. My name is Zaria Troy. I'm 21 years old. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. And um, I'm a stalker for God. I want to make y'all a stalker for God. I love spreading the word of God. And I want to make y'all stalkers for God. And I want to make sure that y'all love God the same way. And if you're new here, follow me. Because I know that you're going to love me already. All right? Um, you got a friend, a sister, a prayer warrior. Somebody to confide in in me. Amen? If you don't stay to the end, I do free one-on-one -on -one sessions on my Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is in my bio. All right, y'all? I love y'all. Let's get into it. I'm going to pray uh, myself in so I can begin to preach. All right? Dear Heavenly Father, I ask that you use me as a willing vessel or get this message out to my people efficiently, effectively, and correctly. May the enemy stand down. May the flesh stand down. May the Holy Spirit rise within me and use me, Lord, as your willing vessel. Use me, Lord. Use me however you see fit as your willing vessel. Give my heart peace. Give my mind peace. Give my spirit peace right now, Lord. Use me as your willing vessel to get this message out to my people efficiently, effectively, and correctly. May the enemy stand down. May the flesh stand down. May the Holy Spirit rise within me and use me, Lord, as your willing vessel. I rebuke all negative and evil from this live video. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. All right. All right. All right. So somebody, I don't know who I'm talking to right now. Somebody watching this live video is going through a tough time right now. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what the storm is, but do not look at the storm. Do not look at your situation, but instead keep looking to God. When Peter was walking across the water, he looked at the storm and he began to drown because he looked at the storm. Don't look at the storm. You shall not drown. You shall not die before you see the promises of the Lord over your life. Know that God is going to move on your behalf. He's going to move on your situation. Hard times never last. Your current situation is never your final destination. It's getting better. You got to keep your head up and keep looking to God and know that God will never leave nor forsake you no matter what they did to you, no matter how they treated you. Bad company corrupts good character. It was all for your protection. It's never rejection. It's just redirection. It's never, de it's never denial. It's just a delay. Just a delay. You're, you're enduring 
endurance is being built in this storm. Your, your strength is being built in this storm. You're being built up. You're being built more powerful, more strong, and more wise every day. So thank God for that. You got to praise the Lord. Even during the tough times, you have to praise the Lord. You got to thank the Lord. And you got to speak out onto the Lord. And make sure that you're praying. I don't know who needs to hear this, but God is saying right now, I need you to speak to me. I need you to pray to me. I need you to get along. I need you to pray to me. I need you to speak to me because I will make it happen for you, my love. But I need you to go along and I need you to pray to me. I need you to talk to me. 2022, make prayer a habit. Amen. All right. So call out on God even during the tough times. Do not put yourself in isolation. Do not put yourself in a space of hiding because you may be going through something that you feel like is never going to be over. But just know that it's for a season. Nothing is going to last. It's not going to last for a lifetime. It's just for a season. Just like people. People are not meant to be in life forever. Some people are meant for seasons, reasons, lessons, or blessings. So recognize that this is just a season of your life that you are going through and you will get through this. You got to prevail. You got to make it to the finish. A lot of people in your position gave up right now, but God sees that you didn't give up. Don't give up now. You made it too far to quit. There are people that are praying on your downfall. Literally, there are people that are praying that you quit. There are people praying that you give up, but you have to keep going. You can't quit. You can't give up. You can't stop. You got to push to the mark. You got to push to the finish. This is not a race. This is a marathon we're running. You got you to gotta make it. You got to make it. You cannot die. You have to make it. You cannot self-destruct. You, you have to make it. You cannot allow the enemy to deceive you, to trick you, to lie to you, to steal from you, to steal your joy, to steal your happiness, to steal your peace, to steal your blessings, to take your faith away. You got to have your faith be stronger than your fears. You got to walk by faith and not by sight. You got to keep looking to God. You got to keep seeking first the kingdom and his righteousness and knowing that all things shall be added on to you. Matthew 6, 33. It's just a season. It won't last for long. Just keep looking to God. Don't look away from God. You might have looked away from a little, for a little bit, but I need you to look back to God. I need you to talk back to God. I need you to pray back to God. Stop crying. Wipe your tears. Allow your faith to be stronger than your fears. Like I said, you got to you gotta have that faith. Your faith is in your mind. That's why the enemy attacks your mind. The enemy don't want you to know that it's going to happen for you. The enemy starts attacking you harder because he knows that God is moving on your situation. Because he knows that God is moving on your behalf. Because he knows that God is moving those mountains and breaking those trains and breaking those strongholds and bringing you out of captivity. You will not be held down. You are the head and not the tail. You are the first and not the last. God said the last shall be first and the first shall be last. You about to be in first place. This is your season. I need you to pick your head up because it's just for a season. You going to make it through this. You going to look back on this. You going to be like, I, I'm stronger now. I'm wiser now. I'm better now. I'm so much better now. You got to recognize you are better than what you are going through. Everything that you are going through, God put it on you because he knew that you can handle it. He knew that you was tough. He knew that you was strong enough to handle it because a lot of people that was in your position, they gave up. They quit. They didn't didn't know how to keep going. They couldn't think of what to do. But God gave you the proper wisdom, the proper knowledge, and the proper understanding to keep going and keep asking God for that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And he will grant everything onto you. Everything that you are searching for, everything that you are praying for, everything that you are crying about, everything that you are screaming about, everything that you feel depressed and stressed and anxiety, everything that you have that mental breakdown about, everything that is making you run to that addiction or run back to that ex or run back to that friend who did you dirty, everything that's making you go back to the past and go back into your old ways. It shall not prevail. Let that go. Let the past go. You cannot live in your past. You have to live in the now. You can't neglect yourself in the present moment. Don't go back to those things. Those things, those people in those places are no longer serving you. I need you to let that go right now so that you can grow. This is about your growth. It's 2022. You can't be doing what you did in 2020 and 2021. Uh, you need to change it up this year. It's 2022. Change it up. New. New. Now. Live in the present moment. Oh, thank Thank you, Holy Spirit, for speaking through me. Live in the present moment. Do not forget about yourself. Do not neglect yourself. Take care of yourself. Look in the mirror and tell yourself that you love you, that you value you, that you're a king, that you're a queen, that you're handsome, that you're beautiful, that you will make it, that you are a force to be reckoned with. If you're watching me right now, I need you to comment below. I am a force to be reckoned with. Comment that below. I am a force to be reckoned with. Know who you are. Know who you are. And walk in this world and know who you are. Know who you are. You are a force to be reckoned with. You cannot be stopped. God said that no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper.
And thou that shall rise their tongue in judgment against thee, thou shalt be condemned. Isaiah 54, 17. Weapons are going to form, meaning opposition is going to come. Obstacles are going to come. Things are going to happen unexpectedly. But life, that's how life is. Things just happen. You never know what's going to happen in life. That's why you got to live your life every day like it's your last day. Because you never know what's going to happen. Things are going to happen. But you're going to have to keep pushing through because God said them weapons will not prosper over your life. You got to recognize the enemy only attacks you in the area where he's in fear of you most at. The enemy attacks you in the area where he's in fear of you most at one more time. Because he wants you to stop being great. He wants you to stop being powerful. He wants you to self destruct. He wants you to forget who you are. But I need you to stand up and remember who you are and know who you are and walk in this world knowing who you are. Walk in rooms like God sent you there. Walk in rooms with confidence and not arrogance. Walk in rooms with that confidence knowing that you are forced to be reckoned with. No matter who question you. No matter who talk bad about you. No matter who look down on you. No matter who say what about you. It don't matter. Forget the haters in the back. Forget the background noise. Forget the naysayers. Forget the liars. Forget the gossipers. Forget the people that like to start drama. Forget the people that like to start chaos because God says you do not have to live in that place of chaos. You don't have to live in that place of lack because the Lord is your shepherd and you shall not lack. You don't belong in that low place that they tried to keep you in, that they tried to put you in, that they tried to stump you in. You do not belong in that low place. So I need you to stand up and keep looking to God. They can't stand you, then tell them to sit down. Do you hear me? You need to stand up and know who you are and keep looking to God and walk into your power and know that you are powerful and know that you are a leader and know that you are heavily anointed and know that you are heavily protected and know that you cannot be stopped and know that God said that no weapon that's formed against you shall prosper. Isaiah 54, 17. Recognize who you are and recognize that you are powerful and recognize that you got it. You got it. You are everything. You are enough. You are more than enough. You need to tell yourself this and then you need to talk to yourself and remind yourself that you are a force to be reckoned with. It don't matter what they saying. It don't matter what they doing. Forget them. Let them go. Perfect people ain't real and real people ain't perfect. Let them go so that you can grow. Elevation requires separation. I need you to separate yourself because bad company corrupts good character. All they'll do is corrupt your spirit. They want to kill your spirit. They want to deplete your spirit. They want to stop you, but you cannot be stopped. You cannot die. Do you hear me? You got to keep going. You got to praise God always. Praise God when you sad. Praise God when you mad. Praise God when you happy. See, we get into a habit of only praising God when we feel like we down bad and we feel like we in a place of lack. That's that's where we get to praising God the most, right? No, I need you to praise God even when you have everything you want. Even when you have everything you need, I need you to praise God. I need you to speak out onto God at all times, no matter what's going on in your life. No matter what things are looking like, you need to call out to God and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Every day that I wake up, every day that I wake up, I wake up and I thank God for another day. I thank God for giving me a, another day of life because that's why you should fear God because because God has the power to take your life away if he wants to. But he kept you here. You're still here for a reason. You're still here because you have a purpose. You have a gift. You have a talent. You have something you need to be sharing with this world. You got something you're supposed to be doing here. I need you to do it now. I need you to get on it right now. Stop procrastinating. Do it right now. Whatever God is telling you to do, be obedient. Because obedience is much more powerful than sacrifice. I need you to be obedient. I need you to wake up and know who you are. Stop allowing outside voices to tell you who you are. Let what they say about you go in one ear and out the other. You don't process that stuff into your head. Because that's what you begin to put yourself in a low place and you don't belong in that low place remember that god said the attacks of the enemy shall not prevail he said i prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies psalms 23 he will prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies you're going to be eating steak at the head of the table they're going to be eating leftovers at the end of the table forget what they talking about let them go they're not on your level do not slow yourself down and slow your progress down for nobody do not dim your light and stop your shine and stop glowing for anybody because you glow you're a light you're a a light in a dark room. Do you hear me? Stop allowing people to take your power and to take your energy. Protect your energy. Your energy is key. You need to keep your frequency and your vibe up here. Stay in positive vibes. Do not react. It's all about how you react. So a lot of this stuff don't even matter. When you recognize that a lot of this stuff don't matter, you won't even react to negativity. You won't even react to drama. You won't even react to the BS. You just gonna let it go and forget it even happened. You feel me? You can't react to this stuff. You should be immune to the hate. You should be immune to the jealousy. You should be immune to the drama. You should be immune to the envy by now. You need to look at your life from now on like a revolving door. Like, hey, I'm not expecting nobody to be here for long. That's how you got to start looking at things. You got to look at it like this really don't even matter. I'm not going to give my energy and give my power to this situation because it's not worth it because God got me. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. And for those that are leaving him, they shall not perish, but they shall have everlasting life. John 3, 16. Your God is powerful.
capital G-O-D. Put some respect on his name. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Find out what it means to me. You feel me? Respect him and know that he's on your side. That man, you got to thank that man. You got to wake up and thank that man. You got to wake up and praise that man every single day, all the time. He said, pray without season. You don't even have to stop praying if you didn't want to. Your you have power in your prayers. There is power in what you say. There is power in what you think because as a man thinketh, so is he. Whatever you speak comes into your reality because life and death is in the power of the tongue. I need you to speak life over yourself and keep people around you that speaking life over you and not death over you. Do you hear me? Rebuke when anybody say anything negative about you and about your life. Rebuke that stuff. Pray that stuff off of you. Tell God, I'll rebuke that. There is power in the word rebuke. Rebuke that negativity. Rebuke that hate off you. Rebuke that drama. Do not let that stuff prevail over your life. Do not let that stuff manifest into your reality because initially we are manifesting in things into our reality because whatever we think and whatever we speak is why we are where we are right now because we manifested ourselves into this reality. We manifested ourselves into the place that we are now because of what we spoke and because of what we thought. Amen. Take accountability. It's all about accountability. Because somebody that cannot take accountability will look at you like a threat. Somebody that cannot take accountability will look at you like you dangerous. Will look at you like it's your fault that they are where they want to be at in their life. Somebody that cannot take accountability. So I need you to start taking accountability for your actions. When you can admit that you wrong. And when you know that I made my own decisions because I did what I wanted to do. No matter who had an opinion. Yes, people are going to have opinions. People are going to say things to you. But that don't mean that you have to listen to them. Let it go in one ear and out the other. Take accountability for what you did and what you didn't do. What you did and didn't say. Because initially, you took accountability based off of how you felt in that present moment and what you thought was right in that present moment. So take accountability for your actions and stay away from people that can't do that because they are weak-minded people. You are a powerful person. You're too powerful to be surrounding yourself with weak-minded people. It's 2022. Do something different. Open your eyes and recognize that everybody is not for you just because they smile in your face and they make the same last name and they may have the same color jersey they might even be on the same team that don't mean that they on your team that don't mean that they for you amen praise the lord thank you glory be to god they mock you they laugh at you and they low-key watch you because they want to be in your position See, when people do stuff like that, when people hate on you and do evil and negative stuff to you, they do it because they want something you got. They want your power. They want something you got. And they knew that if they talked about themselves, then nobody would listen because they that born. But when they talk about you, everybody listening. So that's why they have to talk about you and they have to mock you because they want your position. But they will never be able to have your position because God don't bless mess. They ain't getting blessed like you getting blessed. Stop sharing your vision. Stop sharing your goals. and Stop sharing your dreams. I don't know who needs to hear this. But stop sharing your vision. Stop sharing your goals. Stop sharing your dreams. Stop sharing your admirations and what you about to do next with everybody. Because everybody ain't happy for you. People will block your blessings. People will knock you off your path. People will stop you. They will come against you in secret. And you never know. A friend, a, fr a listening ear can become a quick enemy. Let these Stop telling these people all your business because initially they'll turn their back on you and want one second and one minute. I don't know who I'm talking to. Stop telling them all your business because they going behind your back and they telling everybody about your business. I don't know. God is speaking to me right now. I don't know who needs to hear this. Cut them off. No explanation. You gave them enough of your time, energy, money, resources, power, favor, love, provision. You gave them enough advice. Whatever. Stop. Rise. Whatever. Stop giving them you. You have to protect you. It's 2022. Look out for you. Focus on you until the focus is on you. You hear me? Recognize that these people don't truly care about you. If you vent to anybody, then you need to vent to God. You need to talk to God because God is the, the one who can initially give you life. God is the one who can grant you your blessings. You feel me? But you're blocking your blessings by talking too much. Stop talking too much. Learn that silence is power. You don't have to say everything. You can be vague in conversation. You can have some mystery to you. It's okay to have some mystery to you for people to wonder what you got going on. Sit back instead of telling people what to do. Sit back and see what they would rather do. You feel me? Stop allowing people to play with you because people only do what you allow. Stop allowing people to use you and mishandle you and mistreat you because God does not tolerate people that mishandle you and do you dirty and do you wrong. So let these people go. They're not in your best interest. They don't have your best interest at heart. Let them go because they're not going where you're going. Everybody cannot go where you are going because they didn't do right like you did. They not being real like you are. They not moving how you are. They don't have your mindset. You got to recognize everybody is not you.
Everybody wasn't raised like you. They wasn't raised on the same morals and the same principles. They wasn't raised. And sometimes it be the principle. It don't even be about what they did. It be about the principle, right? So let these people go. Don't, don't let nobody else play with you no more. It's 2022. It's a new year. Let go of toxic people, toxic situations. You don't need that no more. That's only corrupting you and draining you. You got somewhere to be. You got a destination to reach and that's to the top. Just like everybody be on the highway. They be driving on the highway. They be in their own lane, right? You be in your own lane, right? But they all be going to different destinations. They be going up the ramp, down the ramp. They be going, getting it off the exit. They be going straight down the highway, right? They all go to their own destinations. I need you to focus on you and get to your own destination. Stop looking at what they got going on. Stop looking at their blessings. Let them look at the, look at your blessings because they only blocking their blessings. You focus on you. You look to you. You get your blessings and you elevate because God is going to continue to bless you all in the hate of faith. Do you hear me? So let them do what they do and say what they say and talk how they talk and move how they move. God ain't going to bless that. God don't bless that because at the end of the day, God looks at your heart. Man looks at the outer appearance. Man care about the clothes I got on. They care about the shoes I got on, the car I'm driving. God don't care about none of that stuff. God cares about your heart, so make sure that your heart is clean. That's why God said, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, Matthew 5, 44. The reason why you love these people and you pray for those these people who do you dirty, who do you wrong, who try to leave you for dead, initially, is because you are getting that out of your spirit. You are not keeping that in your spirit. You're not keeping that in your mind, body, and spirit. It's not corrupting you. You're elevating because you let that stuff go. You only let... They, they, see, Everybody can't let that stuff go. That shows that you're powerful. And some people hold on to grudges and it's only holding them down. When you when you stay mad about an old situation, something that happened way in 2015, something that happened way in 2020, why are you still worried about the past? That's old when it happened. You got to let it go. You can't bring that shame, that guilt, that doubt, that worry, that fear, that drama, that chaos into the future with you into the now with you that happened it's over with. let it go they did what they did okay accept it for what it is you gotta recognize everybody is not you people gonna do you dirty people gonna turn their back on you everybody not gonna be with you at the top they say it's lonely at the top but you rather be lonely at the top than lonely at the bottom you feel me Everybody can't go where you're going. Let these people go because God wants to prosper you and not harm you. He wants to give you hope in a future. Jeremiah 29, 11. See, God has a plan. The enemy has a plot, but God has a plan. The plan, the plan for your life. The enemy who has a plot to steal, kill, and destroy what you got going on. Do not allow the enemy to steal, kill, and destroy anything that you got going on. Nothing over here that you can take from me, enemy, because I got my blessings right here and I'm not standing, I'm not dropping down for nobody and I'm not worried about nobody but me. That's the mentality you need to have. You need to have that me versus me mentality that say I am my own biggest enemy. That me versus me mentality that say I am initially the person that's in my own way. I'm stopping me. Because I'm keeping the wrong company around me. I'm surrounding myself in places that I know I shouldn't be anymore. I'm doing things that I know I shouldn't be doing anymore. I went back to the past and I accept that. I take accountability. It's a me versus me thing. You need to have that me versus me mindset. Amen. Recognize it's you. It's you. You can't blame nobody else because initially nobody owes you anything. The only person you owe anything to is if you got children. The only people you owe anything to is God. Ain't them children if you got children. You don't owe nobody nothing. You don't owe nobody no explanation. You don't owe nobody anything. Initially, that's what life is. That's what it's about. You got to keep worrying about you. You got to focus on you until the focus is on you. See, it costs to pay attention. That's why I say pay attention. Pay. Key word, pay. So pay attention to you. Don't pay attention to them. Let them pay attention to you. But it costs to pay attention. Do you hear me? All right? Open your eyes and recognize that everybody is not for you. They talk about you because... They can't help it. Like they, they, they want your position, like I just said, but they will never be you. They will never be on your level because they want instant gratification and you can't get instant gratification. You got to put the work in. Faith without works is dead. You got to put the work in. You got to recognize that's what God said. Faith without works is dead. You got to have faith and you got to be putting that work in to get your vision, to get your goal, to get your dream to come to. Because like I said, it's that me versus me mindset. Amen. Keep that mindset and recognize who you are. Recognize your power and recognize your talents and recognize your gifts because you have your own gift you have your own talent you have your own purpose you have a reason for being here or else god would not have woke you up today god wakes you up every day for a reason 
You have a reason. Life has meaning. When they say life has no meaning, that's a lie. Your life has meaning. You're awake. You're awake right now for a reason. A lot of people didn't wake up this morning. So I need you to start thanking God for waking you up even because he didn't have to. He didn't have to give you life. He could have let you go. You made that mistake. He could have let you go. You did one of the most horrible things you felt like you did in your life. He could have let you go. You did. A, you committed a sin. He could have let you go. You did somebody dirty. Mm, he could have let you go. You, you cursed somebody out. He could have stopped you right there. You got in a fight, he could have stopped you right there. You got into them drugs, that alcohol, that sex, that pornography, he could have stopped you right there. But instead, he can't wake you up because God is a God of love, mercy, and grace. He has his forever mercy, love, and grace cover your mind, your body, and your spirit because he loves you that much. No matter what you do, no matter what you have done, no matter what you will do, because none of us is perfect initially. We're perfect in his eyes. No matter what. So that's all that matters. You should only be living to please God. You should even be leaving, living to please the next man. Stop trying to stunt for the next man. Because that's, that's only temporary. And then they be hating at the same time. So what you trying to please the next person for? Please God. Live to please God. Live to get God's gratification. Live, live to get God's um, acknowledgement over your life. You feel me? Don't don't be trying to impress the next person because they low-key be hating and they low-key want to take you for what you got. They want to take everything you got. They don't want you to be having that stuff. See, people like to see you doing good but not better than them. People that's not doing nothing want you to do nothing with them. So separate. Like I said, elevation requires separation. Amen. Recognize. Recognize. All you got to do is press on and not give up. God can use you in this tough time that you're going through. Recognize that we are going through tough times. For God said we are not just battling against flesh and blood, but we got battling against evil principalities and high places as well. So recognize that God can use you the most during these tough times because he can build you up the most during these tough times. He's making you stronger. Look back on who you were yesterday. Look back on who you were a month ago, a year ago, an hour ago, five years ago. Look back on that person. You don't even recognize that person because that's not you anymore. You in the present moment. That person is not you anymore. Let that person go. You don't know who that person is. When you see an old picture of yourself, who is that? Because that's no longer you. That's no longer your life. You got more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding because God said that wisdom is more powerful wisdom cannot compare to anything that you may desire wisdom is more valuable than rubies amen that's in proverbs you got to recognize god said these things and god also said in e ecclesiastics 1 verse 18 ecclesiastics i apologize 1 verse 18 for in much wisdom is much grief and he that increaseth knowledge increases sorrow amen so the more knowledge you know it the more crazier it becomes in your life because you recognize that you will sleep a lot of your life you recognize that you didn't know a lot of things you recognize that a lot of things that you was taught you have to unlearn because you 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 gain more wisdom knowledge and understand you recognize that god said that you do not conform to the ways of this world but instead you conform to the renewing of your mind amen and also god said that many of us walk along this narrow path this narrow path about following him and looking to him and not being halfway in and halfway out with him. So we own this narrow path right now, right? This path is very, it's not room for everybody. That's why everybody can't go because everybody not really looking to God. God said just because they say God, God, God does not mean they are of God. Does not mean they really love me and really know me. A lot of people just saying me, saying my name just so they can get some type of fame. A lot of people just saying my name just so they can get some type of clout. You got to recognize everybody that say God, God, God is not of God. Because God said he shall deny them. He shall deny them. when they, On judgment day, he shall deny It's in Matthews. Matthews. Hold on, I want to lose this page. I'm trying to pull up scriptures for y'all. I know y'all be asking me for the scriptures. One second, y'all. I gotta take a breather, breather anyway. If you want to sow a seed into this word, if you if you feel led by the Holy Spirit to sow a seed into this word, then sow 11 into this word. My cash app is my name, money symbol, my name, Z-A-R-I-A-T-R-O-I-7. If you want to sow a seed, sow 11 into this word. I'm going to find it. It's somewhere in Matthews for sure. Oh, there we go. He said in Matthews 
7, verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Amen. So only the people who are really doing the will of God, who are really living for God, who are really having faith in God, who are really looking to God, who are really calling out unto God, who are really trying to lead people the right way, and who are not trying to lead people the wrong way, who are not trying to lead people into the life of sin then God will honor that and God is going to let you in. But God said, not everybody that calls on my name is of me. So you got to recognize that everybody ain't on what you own. Because like God said, this is a narrow path that you own. He said in Matthew 7 verse 13, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way, that leadeth to destruction, and many there which will be in threat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth on to life, and few there be to find it. Amen. So many are called, and few are chosen. Everybody is not meant to go to that land of milk and honey. Everybody is not meant to go to that land of paradise. Everybody is not meant to go to that land of you know, just everlasting life. Everybody is not meant to go into that land because everybody's not doing right like you. You have to recognize again, everybody is not you. It's a narrow path that we on when we follow God. Yes, it's going to be hard following God. Nobody said it was going to be easy, but you rather follow God and go through whatever you have to go through than to give up and go with anybody else that's not God. You feel me? Serve anybody that's not God. You rather serve your God, your capital G-O-D, our creator, the most powerful the most powerful God, the number one, the only God that I that I see in my eyes. You feel me? Jesus Christ, the only God I see. I apologize. It's Matthew 7, 13 and Matthew 7, um, 21. All right. So recognize that everybody is not. And this is the uh, King James Version, by the way. Recognize that everybody is not following God and everybody is not of God. And this is a narrow path that you walk on. This this narrow path. So you got to keep looking to God. Don't ever look away from God. It's no being halfway in or halfway out. You got to be all the way in. You got to give him your all. You got to keep looking to him and never lose sight of him. It's mind over matter. All you have to do is press on and not give up and you're going to make it. You're strong. You're powerful. You got to allow your mind to be powerful. You got to push yourself. Like when you at the gym and you want to you want to give up, but you keep going. That's how you have to apply it to your real life. You got to keep going no matter how tough times may seem, no matter how it may get, because you are stronger than you were yesterday. You are wiser than you were yesterday. Amen. All right, let's keep going. Never forget who had your back during the tough times because trouble don't last always. Your current situation is not your final destination. Hard times don't last. Recognize. You, got, you better not forget who, who helped you out, who gave you a hand when you did fall down, when you did fall off. See, God will allow you to fall off sometimes. God will allow you to fall down. God will allow you to be in that low place for a little while because he wants you to recognize who's really here for you. Because when you up and when you have everything, it's easy for everybody to just be around, right? It's easy for everybody to just be taken from you and not giving to you. It's easy to be pouring into people and they're not pouring back into you, right? But... That's why God will allow you to be down sometimes. He will allow you to cry. He will allow you to scream. He will allow you to do whatever you have to do and go through whatever you have to go through so you can get stronger, so you get wiser, so you can recognize that these people will never be able to do you like that again. So you can recognize that these people laughed at you. Instead of helping you, they laughed at you. But when you when they needed you, you was there for them. Amen? But 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 as soon as you needed a hand, as soon as you needed a friend, as soon as you need some resources, as soon as you need advice, and as soon as you need somebody to just invest into you and look to you and help you and pull you out of that low place, nobody was to be around. Nobody was to be fair. That's what God wanted you to recognize. God wanted you to recognize that it's only me that's truly there for you. It's only me that's truly loyal to you. It's only me that truly loves you. Because you went through those tough times. You went through them for a reason. So look back on that situation and let those people go. Let those places go and let those things go. Because you're only going to become elevated all in the hater face from now on. All now on, 2022 and up. When you start receiving your blessings, these blessings will never stop. They will never stop. Don't ever think that they're going to stop because they will never stop. Because God seen what you went through. God was there when you was crying. When you cried, God cried. When you was down, God was down. He was right there in that situation with you. So thank that man and praise that man because he was there for you no matter what you had to go through. No matter what adversity you had to face. No matter what challenges, what obstacles. No matter what you thought was going to stop you. When you thought that you was ready to end your life. That time where you wanted to take your life. That time where you just wanted your life to be over with. They don't know what you went through. They don't know the times you cried, the times you prayed, the times that you wanted to give up, but you didn't give up. 
Because you got to recognize when you throw a rock at the enemy, the enemy going to throw a brick back at you. When you throw in the towel at God, God going to throw the towel right back at you. So you got to keep going. You got to keep getting up and living your life for you and recognize that you are powerful. Pray. There is power in your prayers. Prayer changes things. That's true. Pray without ceasing. Speak out unto God. He's waiting on you to speak to him. Never look back onto your past. Make sure that you remember that I need you to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, but lean on his Proverbs 3, 5. Lean on God's understanding. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Give him your all because he was there for you in those times when you was down and you was out and you didn't know if you was going to even wake up to see another day. But you still here, right? You here for a reason. Amen. Get up and know who you are. Recognize your power. Recognize your power. Recognize. People ain't out here worried about the right things. People worry about followers. They worried about views. They worry about cloud chasing. They worry about the wrong stuff. Stop worrying about the ways of this world. Change your mind about some things because you can't take none of this stuff to the grave. And the graveyard is the most expensive place right now. The reason why the graveyard is the most expensive place right now is because people have passed away without sharing their purpose, their vision, their goals, their dreams. They had, they didn't even make it to that point yet. They secrets. We all got secrets that we ain't saying, but they, they wasn't able to share that stuff. That's why the graveyard is the most expensive place right now. So I need you to do what you have to do now because you never know when it's your time. Stop trying to acquire all these treasures and all these things of this world because God said you can acquire as many treasures as, as you want. You can save up as much as you want, but you can't take none of this stuff with you. This stuff can get taken from you as quick, it was, as, quick as it was given to you. So humble yourself. Humble yourself and stop worrying about those things because the back of the dollar bill anyway, the back of the dollar bill say in God we trust. It don't say in man we trust. It say in God we trust. So we got to put all of our trust in God. One more time. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, but lean on his. Proverbs 3, 5. Recognize who you are. Recognize who you are. You are powerful. People are going to lie on you. They're going to hate on you. When that hate don't work, it's going to turn to lies. But let them lie because what's done in the dark going to always come to the light. It's going to always be revealed to you. It's going to always come to the light. And God said, vengeance is mine, Psalm 94. So just let go and let God cast your burdens onto me, says the Lord. Give him all your problems. Give him all your fears, all your doubts, all your worries. Give it on to him. Cast all your burdens onto me, says the Lord. Give it all over to him and know that he's handling that. And know that he's seen how they did you. He's seen how they talked on you. And he's seen how they looked down on you. And he's seen how they thought that you belonged in that low place with them. He's seen how they left you for dead. And you better take that serious as well because they left you for dead. But still you rise. Just like Jesus did on the third day, you still rise. You still rise. You still get up. If you watch me right now, I need you to comment. Still I rise. Amen. Comment below. Still I rise. Because still you rise. Because that's still you rise, no matter what you've been through, no matter what they said about you, no matter. Look at all of the all the crazy stuff you went through in the past. Look on that. You you you're not even supposed to be here on it. You're not even supposed to be here right now with all that stuff that's going on. But God was always with you. That car accident that you got into, that fight that you got into, that was supposed to be the end. That was that argument. That was supposed to be the end. When you found out your partner cheated on you, your partner lied on you, that was supposed to be the end. That was supposed to be the end. The enemy thought that was going to be the end. The enemy thought that that was going to take you out. But God kept you here for a reason. You are here for a reason. Pick your head up and thank him. Thank him right now. Praise him right now. You should never stop praising him. You should never stop thanking him. You should never stop loving him and putting all your trust in him. Because he always got your back, your front, your left, your right. He's all around you at all times protecting you. You got angels all around you. You're protected. You're divinely guided. God knows your thoughts before you think of He knows what you're going to say before you say it. He is on your side. He will never leave nor forsake you. He will never betray you. And you never re-respect anybody that disrespected you. You never re-respect anybody that betrayed you and turned their back on you and said that you wouldn't be nothing and said that you wouldn't make it nowhere and said that you couldn't do nothing with your life initially. Amen. Recognize. 
judge not. God said judge not or you shall be judged. So don't judge the next person. Stop speaking on what the next person got going on. Focus on you. Why are you even speaking on them? You don't have room to speak on them when you probably did worse than what they did or you probably been through worse than what they've been through. You can't judge the next person because what you reap is what you sow. What you put out into this world is what you get back right on to you. So if you want to judge, if you can't take the heat, then stay out the kitchen. Stop judging the next person. Haters. Haters. H-A-T-E-R-S. H. Having. A. Anger. T. Towards. E. Everyone. R. Reaching. S. Success. Haters. Having everyone, having anger towards everyone reaching success. Let these haters go. It's over with. It's over with. Because you got a place to be and that's at the top. Do you hear me? You don't have time to waste your time with anybody or anything. Know that God, the blessing of the Lord makes a man rich and he has no sorrow to him. Rich, meaning realizing I create happiness. R-I-C-H, realizing I create happiness. When you realize you create happiness, you don't care about these haters. You don't care about what they doing, about what they saying, about what they got going on. Let them go. Let them go. Do you hear me? Never let nobody see you down because everybody got their own problems. Like I said, everybody got their own problems. Everybody got secrets that they ain't saying. So don't waste your time. You don't have time to waste. You don't have no more resources to give. You don't have no more time, love, energy to give. You giving enough. You don't have nothing else. You got to focus on you. And get, get your power up. Get your spirit together. Make sure your heart in the right place. Focus on you. Stop looking at them. You're only blocking your blessings by looking at them. When God brings you out of this situation, God is going to turn the non-believers into believers. Just know that you're just in your process. You're being molded and shaped into a new woman, into a new man. You're being shaped into a better king, a better queen. You're being shaped into the better leader. God is molding you. He's working on you. You're just in your process. So get up and keep your head up. God is going to show these people. He's going to turn the non-believers into believers. He's going to use you for his glory. He's using you in this time while you, feel, while you feel like you're down. But really, you're not down. Really, you're just being built. Your endorse is being built. God said, never say that I am tempting you because he is never tempting you. He is just testing you. He's testing you. He's molding you. He's building you. You got to be tested before you are blessed. You have to go through in order to get to and know that if God brought you to, then God is going to bring you through. Amen. He's going to always bring you through. You will not be stuck in this situation because like I said at the beginning of this video, I said it's just for a season. Mm. Mm. It's just for a season. Pick your head up and know that it's going to get better. You got God on your side. If God before you, who can be against you? Romans 8.31. All good things work out for the good of those who love the Lord. Romans 8, 28 is going to work out. It's working out. He's moving on your situation. He's moving on your behalf. He'll come and sit in that situation with him. Ask him. Say, God, come sit in this situation with me until you see fit to bring me out of this situation. God, God, I love you. God, I thank you. Every day I wake up, I say, God, I thank you. I thank you. He didn't have to wake you up. You didn't have to open your eyes this morning. Recognize that everybody didn't wake up today. Recognize that you're in a better position than a lot of people right now. Recognize your position. Recognize where you're at right now. You're in a better position than a lot of people. You're blessed. You may not have everything you want and everything you need right now, but you're sure enough blessed. You're sure enough blessed because you have life. Know who you are and walk into your power. Stop comparing yourself to the next person. You don't know what they're going through behind the closed doors. You don't know the nights that they prayed and the nights that they cried. You don't know what they had to go through, but yet you want their life. You don't know what they had to go through the, the nights where they wanted to give their life, where they wanted to take their life, but yet you want their life, right? Stop worrying about them. Focus on you until the focus is on you. Amen. You're going to elevate. You're going to prosper. 2022, double. 22, double for your trouble. It's coming. It's coming to you. All your blessings are coming in. But you got to keep your head up. You got to keep pushing. And you got to go. You got to know that this is a marathon, not a race. This is a marathon. And you're going to make it. You're going to make it. You shall not die before you see the promises of the Lord over your life. You will see the promises of the Lord over your life. If God made you a promise, he said heaven and earth. 
shall pass away, but my word will never turn on to me void. Luke 21, 33, his word will never return on to him void. If he gave you a word, it's going to happen. It has to happen. And know that this too shall pass. Hard times never last. Amen. It's okay. Be ye separate and come out from amongst those people, says God. Come from amongst those people that are not serving you. Those places and those things that are not serving you. Amen. Keep your head up. Keep fighting. This is a this is not this is not for the weak. You're strong though. It's not nothing that you're going through that you cannot handle. Amen. I love y'all. I love y'all. I'll be on later with y'all. I'll be on later with y'all. If you still on, hold on. I got to share my information with y'all before I hop off of here. Instagram. My Instagram. My Instagram is Z-A-R-I-A in additional A dot X. I do free one-on-one -on -one sessions. Follow me. I also post clips on I also post clips from my live videos on here. I post the full live video on my YouTube channel. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's on my Instagram. It's in my TikTok bio as well. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm, I post these lives on there. So you can go back and watch them now. Go subscribe. And my Somebody put my Instagram in the comments for them. My YouTube is in my Instagram and in my TikTok bio. So subscribe to my YouTube. I'm going to post this. If you want to go back and watch this live video, it's going to be in my, um, it's going to be on my YouTube. One on one, you, I, just, I usually respond late, but just hit me up on any time. There's no specific way to book a session with me. Just talk to me. Just hit me up on Instagram. I respond when I can. Um, I'm gonna respond tonight, probably around like 11 tonight. Amen. Um, so let's see. So into this word, somebody drop my cash app and my um Instagram in the comments. So let's see. Money sign Z A R I A T R O I seven. So 11 into this word. So 11 into this word. Anything with a one with it. Anything with a one in it. One dollar. 11, 21, 51, 31. So anything into this word. So anything. So a seed. So a seed into my ministry. If you feel led to in your spirit. If not, I still love you. What's the Luke verse? It's Luke 21, 33. That's the verse that I gave to y'all. So my Instagram is in the comment. My cash app is in the comments. My Instagram and my cash app is in my bio as well. Somebody said, Zaria, I just want to say you don't need any men. Keep serving the Father. Wow, God bless you. Thank you. So a seed. Yes, yeah, so 11 into this word. So I said, W preacher. We winning over here. <laughs> if you don't, it's okay. I said it's okay. If you don't have nothing to sow, it's okay. Know that ignore these negative comments. Negativity don't exist unless you allow it to. People don't exist unless you allow them to. Give these people a, me a mental funeral. Amen. Forget what they're saying. God going to handle it. God said, vengeance is mine. Psalm 94. It's in my bio. Somebody drop it for them. Somebody drop my, um, somebody drop my, my cat, my, okay. My YouTube is my name. It's Zaria Choi. It's my name. That's my YouTube, but it's also in my bio as well. My cash app is in the comments. My Instagram is in the comments. This is going to get posted to my YouTube channel within the next hour. So be looking for it within the next hour. This video is going to be up there for y'all. God said the mockers correct the mockers. The wise correct the wise because the wise become wiser. Proverbs 8, 9. So we can't correct mockers because mockers will only hate us more. So don't correct them because they don't know what they do. They don't know that God is going to handle them. So don't worry about negativity. Don't give them your power, your energy, your spirit. Don't give them what they want. Don't give them that reaction. Let them be offended. Let them feel some type of way. They came here for a reason. They came here because they know that our God is powerful. They know that God that we serve is powerful. They are not just here for no reason. Maybe God brought them here because they needed to hear a word. Maybe he are, he's trying to get them to change their hearts and their minds, but they're, they're not going to do it. So, you know. We try to do what we can do. You got to recognize you can't save everybody. Stop saving. Stop trying to save people that don't want to be saved. Amen. They are non-believers in God for the simple fact that um, they don't want to be held accountable for the actions that they take. Amen. 
So keep y'all head up and stop and don't give them your time of day. That no, I'm not even just talking about my comments. I'm talking about in y'all everyday life. Amen. So sowing a seed can be just more than giving to my cash app. Sowing a seed can be sharing my live videos when you get on here. Sowing a seed can be giving me a follow. Going to go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Sowing a seed can go be going follow my Instagram. Hit me up for a free one on one session. That's that's what I want y'all to do. All right. I love y'all. God loves y'all. This video will be on my YouTube in the next hour. All right. Be blessed, y'all. Take care. I'll be on a little. I'll be on here a little later too. Turn on post notification bells. Amen.